All right, here's a quick lesson on tangent chord angles. So first of all, you talk about what a tangent and a chord is. So a tangent is a line that's going to go right next to a circle like that. So in theory, it only touches in one particular spot, and it would be 90 degrees from the radius that goes like right here-ish. Okay, so <clears throat> that is a tangent. And then a chord is a, a, a line segment that just goes from one side of the circle, well, one point of a circle to another point. So um, it's going to wind up sharing the point with this tangent. So when you have a tangent um, chord here, so this is a tangent and a chord, you have an angle right here. All right, so that angle is going to be uh, double or sorry, it's going to be half of this um, arc here. All right. So if you talk about this arc here, so let's uh, let's make this purple. Let's talk about this arc right here. All right. So the um, angle. So this arc right here is double. this angle oops angle all right so if we do a sample problem so let's write in blue so if i know that this arc is um let's say 100 and nope that's a 200 let's just, let's just, let's just say it's 200 degrees so this arc is double this angle so this angle then would be 100 degrees, okay? And then this line would here would be 160 degrees because the, the whole circle is 360 degrees, okay? And this angle here would be half of 160, which would be 80 degrees because these form a straight line, which is 180 degrees. So that's how that works. So. Um, Anytime, so if you, as long as you know any part of this, you can figure out the other parts pretty simply. So remember that the arcs are double the size of the angles. All right, so that's all you need for the tangent chord angles.